you guys so freaking excited first of all welcome and thank you so much for joining me back here on my channel if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe if you have been here before welcome back i'm on kind of like a fusion of a few things on my channel i'm on an adventure i'm also going to be doing a culture fest conversation and i'm also going to be introducing a new segment called rissa eats and I just eat and review food because I love food and I'm good at it. I'm actually on my way to Viva La Boba here in San Bernardino. And I'm going to be talking to Tansu Phillip and David Freeman, the founders and creators of Viva La Boba. And y'all, I'm so excited. I love boba. I grew up with boba. And this door. I try to open the door. I'm on my way there and we're going to check it out. I did some research uh, last night about the origins of boba and like what the, like, what the hell is boba. Boba is a tapioca ball. Oh my God, it's a horse. This is so random. That was just like a random white horse on a fence. Love, but like why? Anyway, so I looked up the origins of boba and it's a Taiwanese-based milk tea drink that was invented in 1980. So it's like not even that freaking old, but I love boba and I'm really excited about why they wanted to create Viva La Boba, why boba, and on top of that, where they decided to open their shop is kind of interesting because there's not a whole lot of foot traffic. So not only are they bringing awareness to boba, but it seems like they're trying to start a culture, kind of like downtown LA, Koreatown. That's where you usually find a lot of like the really popular boba spots. You don't really hear about it out here in San Bernardino. So when I heard that there was a Viva La Boba spot or like something that was kind of like a lolly cup and they have like these amazing, delicious, variety of drinks that are beautiful by the way i had to go and check it out and hear and listen to their story and they did a collaboration with a sincere um he's the rapper that i did the mukbang interview with they did a collaboration drink called very sincere and uh we're i'm gonna ask if we can make that to, if we can make that okay today. so i'm here um, in downtown San Bernardino and it looks like there's a little bit of construction well not a little bit like a lot of bit of construction going on um, but the shop is super freaking cute I love it I used to live uh, in Koreatown for five years like right in the heart of it so like I'm all about aesthetics all about that downtown feel um, and I feel they really hit it on the head like take a look at how cute this is So I made it to the back of Viva La Boba. I've got Tensu. 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 That was so close. And I've got David. David. Yay! I'm all like sweating. Yeah. I called him Philip. I don't know why. <laughs> They're gonna kind of show me around, talk about their ingredients, and we're going to make a drink. We're gonna make the very sincere. I texted him this oh, morning, wow. and he was like, I haven't even tried it yet. And I, I was like, either. Whoa, okay, so we're so really like, like, no, <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna do a Rissa Eat segment and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about 
the whole entire experience of how Viva La Boba was birthed and how it came to be. But first, let's make a drink. So I know people probably know boba to be with the traditional tapioca balls. Yep. What are the different types of toppings or the ingredients that you can put in boba? So the primary difference when it comes to different types of boba is not the boba itself, but the liquid that you're putting it in. Okay. So for us, it's brown sugar. We love really? brown sugar. It's very sweet, really good. But so other cool. stores do honey boba. Uh, I tried caramel boba, that did not taste good. <laughs> but you can experiment. But I'd say brown sugar and honey in the top two. We just do brown sugar. That sounds delicious. It's vegan that way. Oh, nice, yeah, okay, vegan. awesome. So I think, me personally, I love the traditional tapioca boba. You do? Yeah. So I've been to different, different boba establishments and I've seen them kind of bring out like a plastic bag of like tapioca balls. Oh yeah, would you yeah. like to see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is that? David, we'll bring it to you. <laughs> we try and do as local as we can. So oh, wow. we buy this from um, a supplier in San Bernardino. He orders it in bulk from Taiwan. Okay. And then so, we buy it from him so that way so our money stays. So they come already okay. kind of like hard and mm -hmm. like how, okay. And then. So you boil them, um, have a process that takes about a half hour to like an hour. Uh -huh. um, but we can do it in 10 minutes and our boba is like always, that's how we keep it always fresh is we're always cooking new boba. That's so, amazing. Yeah, okay, so yum. Secret, secret little process. What are we doing So for now? a very sincere smoothie, Okay. For a very sincere smoothie, or any smoothie, you start with ice, that's our base. But instead of, I think a lot of people dilute with water, we use milk. And you can do your choice of milk. If you're vegan or if you just don't like dairy, we have uh, oat milk, hemp milk, lactate. If you do like dairy but you're lactose free, there are options. Yeah, because I can't have the real milk, so that's amazing. Oh, so what <laughs> milk would you like? Um, what do you suggest? What I want to say all. Oat milk? Okay, let's try that. Cause I always go for almond milk, but I'm feeling we don't have almond milk, feeling inspired so we'll, today. We decided for it. Oh, cool. <laughs> so oat is, is our most popular. We do a barista series because it's thicker. Okay. And we're also installing an espresso machine too. So that way when we're doing like lattes, you'll actually have, even though it's not dairy, milk that acts like dairy, which is important. Otherwise it's a different mouthfeel in your drink. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We will pour in our milk, which is our our base for any smoothie. And then because it's the berry sincere, our focus is using our berry syrups. Mm. So that means a pump of strawberry. And all our syrups are fruit purees. Not to say though, a lot of people are like, oh fruit, so no sugar. <laughs> um, it's like fruit is literally, literally. so much sugar. So Nature's candy, so guys. <laughs> if you want something sugar free, we have Sugar-free vanilla and sugar-free hazelnut syrups. So Yum. Fruit is not sugar-free ever. I mean, you know, science lesson, you know? <laughs> wait, <laughs> Everyone wait, should if know. you were wondering. <laughs> so, you can see the like, strawberry pieces in there. Yeah, that's why I love, um, we tried a lot of different syrups before we ended up with uh, our current supplier. We love it because you can see like pieces of strawberry. It's actual puree, not just- Oh, I not see. Not just strawberry flavored sugar. Yep, definitely see it. That looks amazing. And we never use powders. Our only two powder drinks are taro and matcha, which is always powdered, but uh, a lot of places are popular. Like, I was gonna say, talk flavor. to me about that. I need the tea. So what is the Let difference? Let me tell you something. <laughs> well, um, one brand that we looked up to for a while was Boba Guys. They're okay. They're like very modern and fresh for their approach to boba. So when I found out that they only use syrups and they're powder free, that's something that we wanted to incorporate. And then we began to realize there are a lot of places that exclusively use powders, which is just gross. You don't want, if you look at like a powder and you mix it with water and that's your drink, it's probably not something you want to enjoy versus real milk, real fruit purees, real ingredients. Papa John's. And I didn't know that and I feel like my life's been a sham. Like when I read that, I was right. like, I've been lied to. Like just, what's going on? It's gross. It reminds me of, of like dehydrated It's like fruit. It's like a it's weird like texture, powdery, powdery yeah, like. it's not genuine. Mm -hmm. I want a drink that should already be in the liquid form. I, I shouldn't have to make it. You know, what's your simple syrup? thing. I'm excited. I don't even know if I've had like an authentic, like non-powder boba drink. So I'm just like, about to. yeah, I'm about to see, right? So 
So um, we did a pump of our strawberry, and now we're gonna do a pump of our raspberry. Let's make it a pump and then some. That's what our manager Kenzie always says. And then some. <laughs> and then some. That's the secret. <laughs> and then that's it. So very simple. And then we're gonna blend it up. Very sincere. Very, very sincere. Simple. Very, very simple. simple. Thanks for not being complicated, eh, sincere. <laughs> <laughs> And then I know the producer Mystic. Yes, he Mystic. has Mystic Mocha. So shout out! I don't think I've ever met Mystic yet, but I. Have I, I but shout out to him. Yeah, Daniel. Come, Daniel. Daniel. Shout out to the collabs, guys. Yeah. It sounds really yummy. Mystic Mocha is bomb. It sounds delicious. Where did the inspiration behind Very Sincere come from? He wanted a drink that was a uh, play on very sincere. But even though his name is A Sincere, his whole thing is being very sincere. Mm. Which is so true. If you met the guy, you obviously have. He's amazing, yeah. He's so genuine, down to earth. And that really is a big part of his brand, is how, how real he is. So he wanted a drink that was a play on very sincere. I said, we have two very options that are delicious. Here we go. It's You'll a, get to find out for yourself. I love it. When I read the name, I like giggled. I was like, so perfect. <laughs> so perfect. So I'm gonna grab the spatula so I can ease this on out. That looks so cup. yummy. And this is all with oat milk so you can enjoy it without worrying. So this is all fresh ingredients, lactose free, gluten free? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying all of the things free? that like trigger people. <laughs> I get it, right? Actually, our boba is gluten. Amazing. And there's uh, not any gluten in syrup, to my no. knowledge. Or milk. Or ice. <laughs> or ice. So yeah, so I think got, like, you're right. Pure fresh ingredients. That just looks like everything. Okay, another thing I want to say, a lot of people think we're shorting them if it's like a little, not like, if it's not all the way to the top of the cup. But what happens is when we seal it, come on over here to our ceiling machine. If it's to the top, it spills everywhere. <gasps> the ceiling machine. It's a whole thing. This is the fun part, ready? And also because it's very sincere, we should make it cute. Let's add a little honey. I think that would be no good. No longer vegan. No longer vegan. <laughs> You're not vegan, right? You I'm not vegan. Okay. I do eat vegan food though. It's pretty delicious. It is good, right? So I added a little honey. I think that would go good with berries. And our honey is local. We get it. Um, from the farm of Mento. Yum. Are not farms in Mento. Yum. Shout out Mento. Yeah, right? Mento doesn't get all the shout outs. They, they need your shout outs. They need a shout out. Yeah. I was like, Mento thank you for providing beef. fresh ingredients. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. So this belongs to you. All right. God, it looks so amazing. The very sincere. No one has tried it ever before. Not even a sincere himself. We're about to test it out. So again, we have the strawberry syrup with the oat milk and the tapioca balls with a little bit of honey drizzled on top. That's it, super simple. Everything is fresh. Mmm. It's so fresh, it's so light. Like it's refreshing, it's not overwhelming. The subtle sweetness of the syrup, like it tastes like real strawberries. It doesn't taste like candy, it doesn't taste processed. And then a the little bit, the hint of the, the honey, amazing. Um, you did good. <laughs> they did good. This is amazing. Cheers, guys. This is so good. We would just go into boba shops and talk to the employees and be like, what are you using? What's that? How did you do that? How long did you do that for? We called it tea search. I love that. We're witty. Yeah. Like and, we, we, and we wanted to build up actual downtown. We didn't want it to be just... Viva is, is one step in a, in a larger plan of, of inviting more and more businesses to come in. Because we were first to like give it a try and risk down here, we've kind of started this domino effect of like other small businesses locally trying to come here and give it a try. Patrick, how long have you been coming to Viva La Boba? Uh, since June of this year. And how do you like them? Still very good. Yeah? And the product is great. Do you come here often? Uh, almost every day. What, uh, what's your favorite drink to get here? I get something different all the time. What'd you get today? I got a uh, Indian chai. Mmm, that looks delicious. Heck, and I always get it with a hip meal too. That's awesome. That's great. So do you recommend everyone to come out here? Yes, I do. <laughs>
talk the talk, probably not, it seems worth a shot, shall we talk inside, can I make a day and maybe buy you a drink, you said only if you sit down and talk to me, and your likes and dislikes, and maybe your loves, will make your heart sing and all the above, yeah, stop, let emotions vanquish, no need to feel so anxious,